Everybody, it's Invicta. It's time to know that you'd run here the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Wednesday, Mosh Pit. We did have another video across 3,000 likes, now putting us only five away from the Glitch Chaos run. And we're also going to be doing Greed Mode today just because yesterday kind of wet my whistle and I'm like, yeah, you know what? That was a lot of fun. And I do like having Greed as a secondary option in Isaac to kind of break things up. And then if this run goes super fast, then we might do a regular Eden run after that. But thank you all very much for the support over this past week. Here's today's artwork of the day. Absolutely love this artwork it's an amazing piece sent in by big bandicoot 5557 on this Invicta subreddit title thread was simply love this game too much and I love this art style again it looks simplistic at the start but if you really take a closer look at the details it is really awesome how they shaded it with the markers with everything so thank you very much big bandicoot I love seeing this one I mean like I don't even want to know how much time that that took especially the dogma uh, animation or not animation but the dogma drawing down there on the right hand corner seriously go check out the full resolution on this Invicta subreddit it is awesome so let's hop on to this greed run maybe we'll do two greed runs today I don't know I don't know, man. It's feeling wacky today. See, today's going to be X-Ray uh, Yankee, 4 Lima, Zulu Lima, Foxtrot, 3. Oh, my God. This tears rate. All right. Well, tears rate 1.82 kind of brings me down a little bit. Um, we also have the 404 trinket. We start with 4 HP, which is fine. Also, Bob's Rotten Head uh, plus the uh, plus the 9 Volt. We do not want Cursed Eyes. Probably one of the worst uh, items you can get in Greed. But yeah, it was like, you know, it, it was, it dawned on me today. I was like, man, that was a lot of fun yesterday. Just having that, just a regular old greed run at the end of that, at the end of the run. I cannot believe those pots didn't get destroyed, but I don't know. It was, it was great. So what? Oh, okay. So that's how we're going to play it. All right. Well, 404 Trinket, congratulations. You have, you have ruined your, uh, you, you've ruined your privilege to being on this run. Hope you, hope you enjoyed it. Good to see you. See you later. Reva Dirchi, et cetera, et cetera. But if you don't know what just happened there, by the way, the uh, 404 trinket just randomly decided to give us the broken teleporter, uh, or broken remote, when we used our Bob's Rotten Head for the first time, and it reset the run. So, not the run, but the floor anyway, the wave. But yeah, it was a lot of fun, and uh, I was like, man, I really, really feel like playing Creed today. I don't know, I don't know why. It just, it, it, it was just, a, it was a good idea. And I feel like, you know, as I said in the, in the opener here, like having an alternate way of playing Isaac every now and then is certainly refreshing, and I'm and I think that you know a lot of it it definitely reflects right. People really like and they really like seeing the second runs um, tacked in at the end of like the Eden run, or vice versa, just because like you know greed is. I mean, technically it is a it is a new run. I mean, it's it's a different mode of Isaac, but it's still Isaac. You know, um, you still have some layers of strategy that you got to employ and uh, you know it's the only difference here in greed is that it just it requires a different type of strategy so you know it it, it provides like just a, a refresher on uh, on the content and you know i think every now and then wow that was a huge chain explosion i think every now and then uh, you know it, it is a it is a good way to use our time this the 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 repulsion skitterers are just the worst and yeah, it, it, it just provides us with a, a neat little side quest, almost. Gonna toss Pop's Rotten Head and just absolutely diggity dunk old Dookie. And then, yep, there goes Larry. And then we're going to Poison Grub here. And Bob's Rotten Head absolutely killing it. Also got a key from somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where, but I'll take it. It was one of the champions, maybe. So let's go check out the item room real quick here. It's going to be piercing shots. Okay, okay. I'll sign up for that. I don't even know what's up there, but we hit something. Oh, it's Black Haunt. Okay. So Piercing Shots is great for us to have here on Floor 1. However, again, with our horrible tears rate, um, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be a little bit rough until we actually get that, get that improved. Really wish that we didn't waste Bob's Rotten Head now. I should have probably looked at that before using it. I just saw, I knew that there was a boss up here, and that's the only thing that I cared about, was just bombing it. And of course, it was the, you know, it's the only boss that would be immune to said, said bomb at the start, anyway. This is the one time where we don't want the, the weird, or the normal black haunt that just spawns a bunch of spiders. We want the weird one that just shoots over and over again. We've gotten that one run last week. 
So this one's going to take a while, but while we're waiting for that to happen, we'll go on to last week's question of the episode here. Again, our tears rate is just so low that we might, we might as well get it done. There's the shot that I was waiting for. Uh, and last week's question of the episode was decaps back. All right. Which, of course, was a Backstreet Boys reference, which not a lot of people got. I think a little bit got lost in translation there in terms of the uh, of the image that Alex drew. I basically gave him a an image of the Backstreet Boys and said, hey, do this, but with like different Isaac characters and also have yourself and Sinvicta be one of the Backstreet Boys. And it, I mean, combined with the title, like some people got it, but like it was, it was a little obscure. Finally take down Black Haunt. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm going to take all of these. Yes, I'm even going to take Demon Baby. I know. Who is this man and what has he done with Sinvicta? I know. Um, <coughs> in greed mode, Demon Baby is actually legit not that bad. We can get five cents out of this keeper here, but we have no way of actually charging. And I would love to get some movement speed here. I'm going to get movement speed. Oh, man. Raw liver. Ooh, boy. Okay. I think I, I think a little got lost in the sauce there in in terms of the uh, in terms of what I was trying to convey with the with the, the thumbnail of that day, um, but it still turned out pretty good. I, I definitely enjoyed it. I laughed. Uh, but the uh, uh, question of the episode last week was: Was the most S tier active item in your opinion, not including death certificate? Some people didn't quite get the whole active item because some people, a lot of people were like, so sorry. And I'm like, yeah, it's not really what I was asking for. I actually, probably could have used Bob's rotten head there, but. Fortune cookie, you're done. You you are done. I don't. I do not care. I don't care what you give us. You're done. You're done. I said it on stream last week, and I'll say it again. Fortune cookie is just. It's not a good item anymore. You, you've sullied it. You've lost the plot. Um, but yeah, the most. Your in your opinion, the most S tier active item, not including death certificate. Uh, and uh, the mo most of a comment came in from Thigus Metal, who said, "Spin down dice, hands down." You basically get to customize your build, and it's not handed to you. You have to strategize around the item cooldown. I love it. Totally agree. I think spin down die is one of the most fun and interesting, unique items that <coughs> exists for the active slot. Excuse me. Uh, and it can it can ha single handedly change the course of, of any run, and that's the thing I love about it is that it is so like out of nowhere. And you're right. And and you know having to strategize around the cooldown of the of spin down die and like which item pedestal you're going to use it on are you going to try to take this to like you know take it to like the devil deal pedestal or t maybe get an angel deal out of it that sort of thing is is very hard to it's 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 it sounds easy on paper right until you actually put it into practice and you're wait and you're like wait a second we have to be very cautious about how many times we use this because maybe we don't want this item in particular over something else and you just don't know which pedestals you're going to be getting so yeah, we're doing all this, only getting hit once, and that's not too bad. Grab this uh, half heart here. Second most photo comment came in from uh, Creative Name, who said "Arkey for sure." I think we have to take. Uh, yeah, we got to take. We got to take PJs here for a little bit of HP. I was happy to get the wire coat hanger, of course, as that did give us a little bit of wiggle room on the tears rate. Remember, we are only one away from Guppy, too, so I'm going to use a Magician card to fight uh, Champion Mega Fatty. Go ahead and bomb him right now. But yeah, Arky obviously is super powerful as well, being able to completely reset your run while maintaining all of your items. We've seen strategic Arky uses before on the on the channel, and it is, it is a very, very powerful option to have. Um, if you're finding yourself in a dead-end run and you're not really sure exact... Oh, wow, okay. If you're not really sure exactly what you're going to do on a run or if it doesn't seem like everything's going out, like working out for you, but you happen to have an R key, it's a very powerful way of telling the game to go screw itself and then just doing it over again. Um, so I definitely agree with R key as well being S tier. And the third most upvoted comment came in from Trashman D, <coughs> who simply said, I think Diplopia is an easy choice. No matter what, no matter what, it is always something to hold on to. The ability to duplicate items like Brimstone or Guppy is broken, absolute run buster. I sort of agree with that only because diplopia is yes it's very good for what it does but you have to have a situation where you can actually use diplopia right um i do want sanguine bond but not if it kills us 
We would have to get a lot of a lot of HP in order to make this work. I, and who, who's to say how much HP we're going to have to be able to use that? So I think that not taking Sanguine Bond is probably the best for the best there. One bomb gets us seven cents, so I'm definitely going to take this. I would definitely like to take this HP upgrade well. Um, but I think we can do better than just a simple HP upgrade. So let's go to the next floor. Maybe we'll get a half price, half price key or something like that. Yeah, thank you all very much. I, again, I, I do, I do think that Diplopia is very, very good. It's just that, how many times have we seen it to where it's like, well, you kind of let greed kind of take over, and then you end up not using it for the entire run. There we go, baby. Now we're talking. Finally get some more damage here. Movement speed. A whole lot to think about in here. Um, I mean, I guess, buddy in a box, if we have, if we end up getting conjoined, at least we have, um, at least we have piercing shots. There's, so rejoice, buddy in a box guy. You did it. I have no idea what buddy that is. It's like a. I don't know what that is. It's like a it's like a flat light bulb. There's a lot of references from Buddy in a Box that like I just don't straight up just don't know because I'm not a movie guy. Although I am hopefully hopefully going to see Godzilla minus one this week. Hope. Oh, because man oh man, I love me some Godzilla. I know it's it's crazy that I haven't even gone to watch it yet, but I've been very busy. Pokemon stuff has been has been it's really been like a second job. Um, been having a lot of people come over to the Twitch mosh pit lately saying they're like, you know, they, they're like, we came for Isaac, but then stuck around for, for the Pokemon openings and stuff. And I, I think that, I think that's funny, but it's also very endearing because that means that people like, you know, they're really engaged with it. Like it's not really their jam. It's at first, but then they kind of, they kind of grow to love it sort of a thing. And it just, it makes me feel good. Cause it's like, you know, people expect one thing and then get another thing and they still like you for being you and that sort of thing. So it's. It's a very it's a very wholesome feeling when people come out, come by and say that. Not that I don't like, you know, love covering Isaac and stuff, but the Pokemon stuff has been going crazy lately. Bro, six cents really to re-roll? Screw you, game. <coughs> I'd rather I'd rather go down to the next floor. Wow, no soul heart from uh double blue champion Gertie. That's kinda lame. If we don't get Guppy on this floor, I'm going to be honest, we're not going to be in great shape here. So at least we poison one pair of them. Oh my god. Okay. There's, there's too many things going on right now in this run. The bigger the room, the the stronger that these sister visses get, because they essentially can cover way more area than in the smaller rooms with the brimstone shots or the spread shot, especially when they do it off screen. Yeah. Okay. Double deal here, and it's going to kill us either way. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take Ouija board. I'm going to bomb myself. Never mind. We can't do that. <laughs> it would have killed us even if we took the uh, soul hearts anyway. So that's fine. What I was going to do if we had a bomb, I was going to bomb our, bomb our way back into the, uh, the devil deal and get those two soul hearts. But I guess we're not doing it like that. We can't get a free key here, which I am going to take. Saves us uh, a little bit of money going to the next floor, but we need some help on tiers. Okay. You give meat, so this is going to give us a little bit of damage help. And box of friends. 
<coughs> I mean, Box of Friends is pretty good with Demon Baby. Especially when you combine it with Car Battery. Holy moly, this is about to get blown out of the water here. Yes, we need damage as well. And buddy, buddy in a box guy is about to go insane. But is that? That's not Golbez from Final Fantasy. That's someone else. Like, I think it's someone from Shovel Knight. This is. Yeah. Now this is like this is starting to look like a TM trainer run. I'm not gonna lie. Because what we can do is we can simply just duplicate our buddies. Basically infinitely until we until we're out of charges. We just gotta get everyone into the crossfire here. I cannot believe this infamy is still alive. There we go. I'm just gonna stay here and hope that nothing spawns on me. I would like to not die and keep all of our buddies for the bosses, but it's gonna be a little bit difficult on one HP. But I am a little concerned about what this is going to do. Again, we need HP and we need damage and tears rate, so Cage is getting blown up right now. Oh okay, I don't I don't not sure what hit me there. I'm not sure if that was a shot from a diglet or if one spawned underneath me. Oh apparently there's a Gertie Jr. down there. It's gonna be a miracle if we survive through three cages. Our army of buddies. <laughs> now we definitely need to get either Nun's Habit or something to get the multiple charges. Look at that. And we get the Pact. Still no Guppy, of course, but how the mob flops, I guess. That is gonna give us three soul hearts, so pretty happy about that. Uh, we'll take a bomb here for this tinted Raku. Okay, so we're doing okay now on tears and on uh, tears and I guess our damage is okay too. Um, I will take one roll. Skinny on mushroom doesn't do it for us. Neither does D12, unfortunately. <coughs> Yeah. Okay. Not the greatest rerolls there going into Shoal. Um, store credit here for one bomb. We can get one free item, so we might as well use a bomb and a key to get this. It's 10 cents to basically pay for a 15 cent item. So, in a way, this is saving us 5 cents, if you want to think of it that way. Um, actually, no, it saves us 10 cents. I didn't need to, I didn't need to buy that key for this floor, but we're going to need one on the next floor anyway. A bunny in a box only really helps us if we're able to get multiple charges in the same room. Oh my gosh, we just got spun. Look at that. Okay, well now if we can just get Guppy here, game, I'm just saying. Um, I need to see if any of these are half price before I... Yeah, they're not. So we let's re-roll for something big here. Do not want range. We don't care about PhD that much. Uh, yeah, yes, that will absolutely help us. Four and a half volts huge here, as that does allow us to get the multiple charges. If we can get some bombs. We could potentially get these soul hearts over here. And when I said bombs, I meant like, you know, bombs we could use, not like Mega Troll Bombs game. No idea what baby that is. It's like Band-Aid baby. Need to get the imps out of here. There we go. <clears throat> now this is hurting us in these in these sort of shorter rooms here. 
uh, because we're not able to deal a whole lot of damage right now. So we're not getting a lot of damage fed back into uh, mom's box or buddy, um, mom's box of friends. But this is going to help us in the long run against long, against longer fights like greed. Now, what we need to stop doing is we need to stop running into shots and taking stupid damage. Like watching that shot walk all the way over here and then running into it like a moron. Let's not do that. Yeah, look at this. Look how fast our charge is going up now. It's a four and a half volt. I don't know who's up there. It sounds like death. I have no clue what it is there. We'll say that Mom's Box of Friends definitely puts a lot of visual doo-doo on the screen. Very difficult to see what shots are ours. <coughs> and we still didn't get Guppy. Uh, we can get Soul of Eve, though, to help us against Greed. But, uh, yeah, that's... Yep, 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 yep. That's the game for you. Give us two or three Guppy and one in the very first double deal, and then just not give us anything else. Um, honestly, I'm just going to fill up on soul hearts here. We took way too much HP damage here on this, on this floor, and I'm not happy with it. I wish we could have gotten bombs, but what can you do? As much as I would love to go for a crooked penny play here, I think that it is not worth it to lose to lose box of friends. Um, half price item is quite nice though. So you see, you're seeing how fast we're getting charges now. The piercing shots really helps out. The one that we have on Isaac. But just have this conga line of, of damage here is going to be real powerful. We essentially cut off half of the screen where the enemies cannot get past us. We need to get rid of these spikes, though. Yeah, if we deactivate the spikes, it's good. That's a lot, of, a lot of extra money that just spawned in this room. Um, okay. And we'll, we'll trouble there, Gabriel. I think he got frozen at the start as soon as he spawned. We're just kiting around everything, around our, uh, our buddies here. Okay. Okay. I mean, I feel like I gotta do it. Amy Conception and my shadow. All right. Well, Buddy in a Box will still spawn Demon Baby. This is, uh, this is not feeling great, though, in terms of uh, our chances here against Ultra Greed. Blue Cap is not going to help us except just give us more HP. So doing all of this on 4 HP is... Uh, it's going to be rough. Hold on to your butts, everybody. This is going to be... This is going to be intense. Buddy in a box plus mom's plus a uh, box of friends is going to have to be clutch here. Because I don't honestly feel good about our chances on such low life against even regular Ultra Greed. It's a very weird sentence to say. I've got to be on point with these dodges. <coughs> it's not easy when the cough is coming back here. Game style. It's a funny game. It's real funny. All right, here we go.
Um, excuse me? Buddy in a box didn't spawn anything? I believe you're supposed to be spawning Demon Baby. Am I incorrect about this? It's definitely not spawning anything. Yeah, it's not spawning anything. So if you sacrifice Demon Baby with mom's box of friends, it doesn't give you anything if you have no followers. Unless that they've changed that recently and I just didn't know about it, which is definitely like possible. But now we're fight we're facing a situation where we have to fight Ultra Greed solo, basically, outside of Eve's Eve's soul, which all the birds are all the D Bizzles are doing work here, but on three HP is uh it's gonna be a little tough. Wow, especially when he does that. I can't help but feel that this would have gone a lot differently had we had our buddy in a box uh, play here. So, hey, you learn something new every day. In this case, I learned that uh, if you sacrifice Demon Baby and have Mom's Box of Friends, it does not give you uh, Demon Babies when you use it, if you have no followers. All right. So, uh, so we learned that. That was good. We still ended up beating Ultra Greed, but uh, oof, I don't know, man. That was, uh, that was rough. I feel good about calling it there only because the end fight was kind of insane. It is a shorter video. <coughs> so we're just going to do a regular Eden run, as I said I would. I don't feel good about this, though, because now I feel a little, I feel a little bit, uh, a little bit hesitant. Oh, someone's at the door. Hang on one second. All right. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, so real time, uh, it's been about 30 minutes since I paused the recording because Mark came over and we had to discuss some music stuff uh, that I forgot that he was coming over for. So apologies about that. <clears throat> Six Delta, Quebec, three Lima, Papa, Romeo, eight. Whew, I know that like for y'all's time, oh man, I, I, this, is, this is jarring now. <laughs> coming back to this run after that greed run after like 30 minutes. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so voice is a little bit gone because I was doing a lot of talking with Mark and I was like, Hey, I'm actually like in the middle of this recording and he was dropping stuff off for the Pokemon stuff. And yeah, we were just, we were catching up because we had to get a couple things done with the music side of things. Cause we're now half band and half Pokemon store basically. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm a little bit shaken after that, after that greed run, I was sitting there thinking about that. I was like, man, that would have really been horrible. Had we lost that? Uh, run, or lost that last hit uh, against Greed right at the very end there, and then having to do Ultra Greed with only one HP in those stats, and like no support at all. Yeah, yeah, that would have been bad. So apologies about the pause, everybody. Um, I know that in real time it was instantaneous because that's what's nice about OBS is at least I can pause the recordings uh, whenever something like that comes up, or like if I have like a delivery or something. So we get Bursting Sack here. Also starting with Kane's other eye, which is not really all that great of an item to start with i mean it fires in random directions like which is fine it only fires on like an axis like you know just like a cross pattern but you know it's something and uh we do have a good tears rate our damage is eh, kind of okay shot speed is actually on point though of course starting with the bible is going to give us a free mom kill now we can also get mama mega um yeah overall not not too bad here it is weird coming back <laughs> After being like, oh yeah, I've got, I'm still recording here. I do love the pause recording function. Okay, we'll just lose that so hard. That does help us out in case if, again, something like that does happen. It can be like, yeah, let's pause the recording. Could use the Bible to get in those fires. Maybe get a little bit of extra money. We're facing Limehorn. 
But I was on the fence about like about ending the video after that greed run just because like it was kind of stressful towards the end. Um, I really, really, really didn't want to have to fight Ultra Greed on one HP. <clears throat> then it turns out we ended up doing it anyway. <clears throat> and uh, I've got a I've got a little bit of a, a little bit of a scratchy scratchy voice now from talking so much. The new music, of course, is uh, it's still in the works, and man, oh man, we. We're, we're riding constantly right now. Um, doing vocals, doing vocals is a little bit worrying me though. I will, I will admit, just because I, you know, have concerns about my voice and, I mean, just regular talking right now is, you know, it, it gets a little strained. Um, but, <clears throat> but thankfully, I will be seeing a, I will guaranteed be seeing a, uh, an ENT this week actually. I come to think about it, so. Actually, by the time this video goes live, I would have already I would have already seen him. Um, so, looking forward to that at least, and getting some definitive answers on uh, what's going on with the the cough and everything. It, it comes and goes. Really, it seems to be related to what I eat throughout the day, but also like how much talking I do. <clears throat> so, apologies about all the the voice clearing and everything. Um, uh, we could lose this half soul heart to get into this curse room. We don't have a bomb really to do anything with in there, so I'm a little bit concerned about going in for no reason at all. Wouldn't mind getting Mama Mega for floor two at least, so we can secure that devil deal, but we'll see. Of course, I would not mind getting an HP upgrade here from Gluttony as I use the Bible just because I don't feel like dealing with this gap. Yeah, I had a lot of people show up for the, uh, there we go, very nice. I had a lot of people show up to the gaming channel as well. Uh, thank you all very much for all, all the subscribers. We're almost at 10,000 subs on this Invicta Gaming channel. I do plan on exporting a lot of the Pokemon stuff there, um, but also doing exclusive content. I still, if I haven't done it already, I'm still very highly considering doing a, a World of Warcraft playthrough. I don't know how popular it would be necessarily, um, but like having like a WoW Season of Discovery leveling series might be cool for some people if you're interested in like what's going on with that. Um, plus, it also like just kind of catalogs like me like you know going through the game and everything. Might skip ahead a few episodes and just get some leveling done on the way to level 25. I have some friends that are already level 25 at, at this at the time of this recording, which is insane considering that it's not even a week out from doing it. So. So we get ourselves a high priestess card, which is going to give us hopefully an insta, insta diggity dunk on the uh, on the boss. <clears throat> we have to go get some water, I think. Might have to go get some water. Let's see, I don't really want to pause the recording again, but at the same time, I don't want to also keep clearing my throat every ten seconds. Keep forgetting that these friendly, the friendly spiders, you do have to actually kill them. I wish they would just like become attack spiders, bursting sack. Camo undies. The camo undies is not terrible for us here. The bomb as well, so secret room might be in play. Camo undies is going to give us a good uh, movement speed upgrade here and allow us to do stuff like this. Look at that, we get head of the keeper. Of course, Camo Undies was absolutely pivotal in that rock bottom run that we had. Gonna need the tears. I also accidentally um, got rid of my Camo Undies buff, so not too happy about that, but at least Black Widow won't be able to harm us in terms of our spiders, as they're just gonna be pushing us around, if anything. <clears throat> <clears throat> Can't let her jump on us, that's the only thing. And we also don't want to blow up these barrels with us standing there, which is the reason why I gotta be careful with Kane's other eye. Because it does tend to shoot randomly. The keepers or head of the keeper is going to give us the ability to generate money off of our tiers, which is very good. Camo Undy gives us a uh, a movement speed upgrade as well as a tiers upgrade whenever you're stealth until you come out of stealth. Well, we got black haunt again. 
This is really a... This is going to be a really harmless black haunt because obviously we don't have to worry about the spiders. We just have to worry about them, him shooting. I got to say, Bursting Sack, you know, coming up clutch here, saves you a lot of early game headaches with the spiders in a way that you really don't even think about that much. But it's if you want to think about it in a weird... If you want to think about it in a weird roundabout way, it's sort of like passive damage reduction that you're not taking from the spiders, right? It's not actively doing it, obviously, because, like, it's not killing them, and it's certainly not, like, converting the damage to lower damage or anything like that. But it's just making you avoid having to fight them, and they don't deal any damage to you anyway. So, if effectively, it nullifies the amount of damage they could have done to Isaac had you just had you been hit by them or something like that. So that's what I mean by, like, passive damage reduction in a really weird, obscure way. Um... Hmm. I mean, Pandora's box would be nice. Wouldn't mind getting blank card. Blank card High Priestess would be something interesting. A little bit risky there to jump into the middle of three Diglets, but I want to get the Camel Undies buff if possible. Oh, we got bombs, so I can I can bomb the uh, the Keeper. Oh no, there we go. I'm gonna fly over this is a big waste of time here. <sighs> Blank card, High Priestess versus the Bible. We haven't really played with Blank card in a lot. Uh, in a lot of runs in Repentance because of the nerf, obviously. <clears throat> <clears throat> and I don't remember what the what High Priestess is. Um, I think it's a three-room cooldown for uh, Blank card, but we'll see. Super Secret Room could be there. I have a feeling it's going to be here, though. Oh, just gas. Okay, I just don't know what I'm talking about. We ba baby plum. Baby dead. It's two room cooldown. Very nice. You get a much needed movement speed here. We still need some damage, though. And Kami Conception. If we do take damage, at least we have a chance to spawn some good familiars. Yeah, that damage is scarily bad right now. Oh, those spikes are going to retract, I'm not going to lie. So once again, I'm calling upon you, oh great camo undies, to bail us out of a bad stat situation in terms of, in terms of damage. In terms of damage. Our tears rate is okay for now, but it's not going to last us very long so obviously we want to make sure we maintain this devil deal here if we can um but you know worst comes to worst we do take damage just like that right there because my fingers fumbled on the keyboard and i got stuck against the mushroom then uh you know if we're going to take damage then let's hope that we get something for it like say d bizzle uh incubus succubus would be nice i mean anything right now we just need damage Okay. When I said take damage, like, I didn't mean, like, let's just get lit up by like, things spawning and moving behind us and stuff. I will say that the sack room, on the other hand, that is a good way for us to get a lot of potential payouts here from Cami Conception. We also have that two of hearts um, that we can use with blank card. Now, I don't know how many hearts... I don't know how many... I don't know how many charges the ace of... The two of hearts plus blank card does. I hope it's not a lot, but if it's anything like the two of diamonds, it's going to be like a full charge, basically. So, and by full charge, I mean like 12. Let's see. Yep. And there goes that plan. All right. All right. Uh... Gonna use the two hearts now, just because I'm not going to use the blank card again. Okay. Okay. We're playing it kind of kind of fast and loose here, but again, I'm trying to trying to get Cami Conception to pay out here with something. While also possibly getting a payout from the sack room. Okay, 
Okay, so we got to go for this. A to play doesn't really matter here. Um, let's buy a red heart. Let's buy a soul heart. So we're out of death's reach for now. Um, we cannot go back and get the Bible because it's on the last floor. That would have been nice to get for that golden poop room. <clears throat> and I think what we have to do is we just have to go back and use the High Priestess card against the boss. The room is going to be here, by the way. We have 15 bombs, so at least we can use that in case of... Oh, wow. In case of we uh, get into you know, no damage trouble. There? That's a weird spot for the secret room, man. Not gonna lie, that's a weird, weird spot. And there's zero chance that we get a full charge on this floor for High Priest's Blank card. I really should try to use the High Priestess with the Blank card, though, just to lower that cooldown. Let's see who it is. Bumbo. Mm. Now, what sucks about this, other than taking damage, of course, is the fact that we have Head of the Keeper. The Head of the Keeper is going to heal him if, we, if he picks up coins. I'm not dealing with this. And we get pageant boy. That's just super duper great. We did get a lot of money from it, but I'm not happy about it. So we can go play the sack room and have a chance to get teleported to the angel deal. But getting pageant boy there really is not the right time for that horrible item. It did give us a lot of money. I will give it credit. It did give us seven, like, seven coins. Two of them were dimes, which is not a normality for Pageant Boy. But that being said, would have much preferred just HP or any stat, really. One thing we don't have to worry about, about on this run at all is money. Money is a non-issue on this run, which is good. I don't think that we can safely play this the sack room. I really don't. This damage is uh, quite pathetic. And we don't even have a key to go. We don't even have a key to get the golden chest done. I mean, pay to play would open the, the key I, or open the chest, I guess. So we no longer need keys, which I mean, I guess pay to play does make sense because we we essentially have unlimited ways to, uh, to open up chests now. And it's juices done. All right. All right. I see what type of what type of run we're looking at here game. Also a little bit sad that we haven't gotten a single payout of Cammy Conception yet, despite how many hits of damage we've taken. Get D-Bizzle. God, there's another wave. D-Bizzle, of course, is going to give us the chance to get red hearts after... Or, uh, soul hearts after getting red hearts, but... Of course, it's predicated on us getting red hearts in the first place, which right now we have none of, so... Oh boy, do we take a horse pill? Tears up. Yes, we do. Gave us a massive tears up. Really, that's the only one I'm interested in, so. Could check for a soul heart or a tinted rock or something in here. There's nothing. All right.
Okay, so we're not great here. Not fantastic here, I gotta say. We need to get, we need to get hearts. Now we do have the stars card, which will take us into the uh, item room, of course. And we can use that with blank card now if we really wanted to. So the horse pill tears up helps out a lot again, but we just got to recover our HP now is really the only thing that is of concern. And the game still does not want to give us any type of heart whatsoever. But now what we're doing is we need to focus on finding the shop or the challenge room and then going there from there and using the stars card. So here's the shop, but we got to go through this menagerie of diglets here. We gotta give we gotta give D Bizzle a chance to shine. D Bizzle has not been a big time player. We've not needed him to be a big time player for a while, but now is now's your time, D Bizzle. I refuse to step out of this out of this lane here. Until we kill a couple more of the Diglets. See here, we barely have enough range to actually kill them when they're on that third second and third uh, row, row there, if we just push the shots. The technique that newer Isaac players will need to learn how to do. The idea that you can move slightly forward and sort of project. You, you can you can get those those shots, the projectiles, a little bit further than you normally would with your regular base range. And this may be I mean, we have to be safe here. Like this is the this is the only safe way to do this room. Normally the diglets will not they will not come this close. They will not go to the first layer that we were on. So if we can just ambush them when they when they come up and not get spawned on, then we're fine. Wow, we we still have not killed this one, huh? There we go. Okay. All right. Risco Monty and the slip rib. Uh we'll take black candida. Of course, and jumper cables is we might as well take. We literally do not need keys anymore, so we get a tower card, which is not going to help us out. Um, Titanic Bible is probably going to have to be it. I hate to say it, but we need HP here. I'm going to hold out, or at least attempt to hold out, for one floor. By not using the Satanic Bible, but having an HP generator is going to be crucial, especially if we have jumper cables. Jumper cables are, is going to give us a charge on our space bar item every time we kill 15 enemies. One single charge. So the reason why I'm not using the Satanic Bible currently is because, yes, we do need HP. Yes, we do need HP, but um, I don't want it to give me a Devil Deal item yet because we don't have enough HP to really pay for it. Okay, I'm getting real tired of these hits here, game. And another thing that is annoying about Kane's other eye is the fact that it does uh, push enemies when they're when they're not doing that. We almost died. If I didn't use Satanic Bible there, we were dead. And also, can like we just stop taking damage? As to prove my point, Kane's other eye will shoot enemies and project, the, basically make them go forward. It makes them jostle around. No, D Bizzle, we need this. So we lose another Devil Deal here, and this is a classic example of bad damage equals not good. The longer that we have to stay in these rooms and fight, the more apt we are to taking damage. And and of course, we would get a struggle bus run after having a after having a good old greed run. This is this is kind of the reason why I got to be careful about doing greed runs first. Be I mean, like, oh yeah, we'll do one, we'll do another extra run here. 
I mean, the greed run wasn't really even a struggle bus. It was just, it was kind of a self-made struggle bus, right? This one here is just, it's just all struggle bus. We do miraculously get a devil deal here. I'm going to let D-Bizzle have that. I am going to take the pack because we just need damage at this point. Any damage at all. Um, yeah, and I think we go straight to the, I think we go straight to the item room on the next floor. So we're going to have to just bite the bullet and use the uh, use the Satanic Bible here, and I think I think that that we're just going to have to beast mode this in terms of going with our our Devil Deal items, man. It, like if just look at that. I know it seems like I'm complaining about about something stupid again, um, but if you look at that Globin in this room when you saw him running past the Kane's other eye, notice how much he's jostling around and just getting propelled forward. Um, that's what I'm talking about when it comes to Kane's Other Eye and other other items that shoot on their own, kind of like autonomously. That's the that's the problem that I have with them. Um, is that they with the way that the the clown engine works for for physics and Isaac, it loves to shoot things forward even though you're you're hitting them from the front. <laughs> so I know it seems like a sin, a, a Sinvicta a Sinvictaism complaint there, but. It's it's rooted in reality, I promise. <laughs> we need to stabilize on this run here, as we are not even with the Satanic Bible. Satanic Bible de just saved everything there with that with that last second, last second use against that pin that decided to to spawn on us or grub or whatever that was. Tears up. We're already capped on tears, so it doesn't really matter. But even the Satanic Bible stabilizing our HP, we're not we're not sorted yet. You know, we we have 4.05 damage, and that's after getting the pact. So this unexpected struggle bus of a run here is uh, definitely going to be a challenge. We're starting to run out of floors to get real solid advantages here. I guess we'll take options. Maybe we'll get an extra soul heart or two or batteries or something out of what drops. It's a funny game. We did get extremely fortunate that we got a devil deal on that last floor. Of, of course, there wasn't anything in there that we needed or could take, but, you know, we, get, we did get lucky. Red Gate is not one of my favorites. Not as bad as Red Mega Maw IMO. But Redgate is pretty annoying. I th we, we have to take Lord of the Pit. It's flying, it's movement speed. We got an Eternal Heart there, so I think there's no way we don't take that. Get a range upgrade here with uh, Consolation Prize, which is fine. QD Bizzle. Um... I think going through this level and getting another full charge on the Satanic Bible is good. We, we What we need to do is we need to maximize the amount of HP we can get on every floor before we uh, before we leave. Yeah, so that's that right there is exactly what I'm talking about. We also haven't gone into the secret room yet, and there could be some more advantages there. So this is one of the few times where I think it is necessary for me to actually actively look for doing full clears, as silly as that may seem. Um because it in this case it's going to be a lifesaver how's the secret room not there that... wow okay and i would have, i would have lost the whole house on that bet and this is exactly why we want to lord of the pit here getting that movement speed having the mobility for flying and everything is just crucial but I mean, we're we're gaining we're gaining we're gaining ground on this run here and there, but we are not safe by any means right now. The stats say otherwise. Let's put it that way. I'm gonna go into the curse room here because maybe we'll get a little bit of help. Hey, D Bizzle, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of bringing me down here. You're kind of kind of ruining my buzz here. So 
have no clue where the secret room is. Guess it could be here. I haven't looked at that other this side of that wall though. Uh, we know it's not there. At least I don't think it is. I guess it could be here. Okay. Camel undies definitely helping us out here to at least start as like a room opener, but it's not a it's not an end all be all. blue fires might be able to get a soul heart out of him ah I'm an idiot nice hairpin's gonna give us a full charge whenever we get to a boss room so that's nice okay so it doesn't matter if we use the satanic bible a whole lot on the next floor obviously because it's depths two um and we don't have to worry about losing a boss item because there is no boss item Half price key, you might as well buy it. You can also actually just put some money in the donation machine while we can. I, I mean, we might as well. Look at that, almost $9 back. There you go, donation machine guy. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> uh, Sure. Yeah, I'll take that. And over $9, dude, that feels so good. Um, we had, okay, I, I could have swore I saw that as a curse room for some reason. My mind, I think my, my mind is, is finally going. Again, watch the jostling here on these Globins. They, they slide so much. I take the bombs because obviously we don't need the keys with options. Do get a soul heart, which I'm happy about. That's already more soul hearts than D Bizzle's given us. I had to check this. I had to check this map as if it was Curse in the Maze. I was like, "Wait a second! I thought that was a curse room." But then I realized it was Bursting Sacks icon that made that door look like it was a curse room. Okay, so Satanic Bible was a go. This is going to be our floor to catch up on, which is ironic because normally Depths Two is the floor that you like have to be make or break. But this one, this one actually helps us out because we have Satanic Bible and we're trying not to replace our boss items with uh, the Devil Do items for now. Would be cool if Kane's other eye matched Isaac's tears rate. More money. More money's fine because, again, we've got pay to play, so this could be huge. It's not. Hoping that we're going to get some black soul hearts out of this, but it didn't happen. Yeah. Got to be careful with the movement speed while we have camo undies active because Isaac, as you see right there, sliding all around. Tinted rock over here. Okay, so we're starting to get some stabilization here. When I talk about stabilization, I mean like our HP. Like, we're able to keep up with any incoming damage. While we're certainly not trying to take damage, it's nice that we're at least able to offset it a lot. Number cable is coming in clutch right there. Nothing as clutch as us hitting hitting the space bar item right at the very last half iota of a second before that uh, grub got us. Did that hit? I don't... Yeah, it hit there. Okay. That's about as close to death as we've been in quite a while. I, don't, I actually don't think it gets closer than that. And see, we, we we can't even out we can't even out chicken this crub this crub we can't even out chicken this grub right now. Um, there's a sack room here. When, when I say out chicken, I mean like you know we're playing chicken as in like it's charging us and we're standing our ground. Yeah, we can't even can't even hang right now. That's what 4.05 damage looks like. And again, I emphasize that. Like this is our damage after getting the pact. That's how that's how bad we are. 
I should have known that we would have got we would not have gotten the uh, curse of the maze because obviously we have black candles. So, all right, D Bizzle. I do not think that playing a sack room on at this stage of the game at this at this point with this HP is going to be worth it. We need to get rid of this red heart though, so we can go down to polar invincibility. Still looking for the shop in the item room. I say head of the keeper is doing work for us. He just fed with money and coins and all kinds of stuff. We don't need keys. Money and coins, of course, but also like, you know, keys. Money and coins tend to be the same thing most of the time in this game. Okay, so we have a charge beggar there, which we could potentially use to just to get a ton of HP. Uh, where in the world is the shop in the item room on this floor? And the more money that we get, the more charges we can get on the Satanic Bible, which in theory means the more uh, HP we can get if we wanted to play the Sack Room now. It's certainly a possibility. But we got to find this dang store first. And they're probably going to be right adjacent to one another. And they are. At least they are adjacent to the same room to each other. Because adjacent to each other means that they would be right next to each other, which is not technically true. Get your soul, which is going to give us a free devil deal item. Sci-fly will definitely take here. Yep. Okay, so 50 cents. Uh, I'm not going to... I'm not going to buy anything right now because I think... I think what we could do is we could... Will we get an extra full charge with Hairpin if we use the Fool card and going in and out of Mom's fight? Of the Mom fight? Does it only give it to you once? In an active... Uh, an active room. I don't know. This is super risky, by the way. I don't recommend doing this in our spot, but right now, desperate times. The tears up, which is totally useless right now at this point. We get the Pascal candle, which is going to give us some tears help. Redemption. Yeah, at least we got our soul hearts back. Um, so we need all the charges here. I think we leave your soul just because, like, we want to get rid of this red heart, but also we know that we're not going to get a devil deal on this floor. I think we just use all the money that we have to just go ham here on this charge beggar. And this is a preventative measure here for us going into the next floors because again, as you as as you notice, we we do not have any damage still. So at this point, we're going forward. The strategy here is that we're moving forward in this run. With the understanding that we're probably not going to get any more damage upgrades. And so what we're doing here is making sure that if that is the case, we have enough we have enough HP to out tank any potential bad rooms in the end game here. But we need to get Polaroid invincibility. That's the thing. Polaroid invincibility is gonna be paramount for us. Say thank you to the charge beggar. Um, I could, in theory, if we really got in trouble, we could take La the soul of Lazarus. I don't think we're going to get down to that level of desperation. Um, but I guess it's... Well, no, it's not. 
Because if I accidentally hit the key, which I don't trust myself at this point to do, then we 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 essentially kill ourselves, and that's not good. Um, we would turn it. I mean, we would stay as Eden, but yeah, I, I'm not willing to risk that. So. I saw that we did get a full charge thanks to the hairpin. I'm not going to use it yet unless we take a hit. I may Blackheart bomb this room, but we'll see. I do not want to use it on the next floor. Okay, well. I don't know what spawned there, but we got hit by something. The mulligan may have spawned a, a fly on us or something. No, it couldn't have been a spider. Thirty-five minutes to mom here. Dig a demon baby out of it. Demon baby, we definitely missed you for that greed run. That's for sure. Got to take the Polaroid. There's no sense of us going to the angel deal because we've already literally been in there. So, oh boy, we're still we're still moving. The bus has definitely has definitely left the station here. And D Bizzle still has not given us a soul heart, I'm pretty sure. Empress card. We have a charge key here, which we could potentially use. Um, not potentially use. I mean, we will use. But even the tears rate of buff of the Pascal Candle is not going to help us that much right now. You know, we talk about how dangerous it is to not have good tears rate. But you need good damage, too. And for us to get where we are right now on what we've got is pretty amazing. Okay, the Alger's Rune here is probably what we're going to end up going with. Sci-Fly going to take care of us. Appreciate the hookup, Sci-Fly. We still run into the enemy anyway. Get a guppy item here. So what we can do is once we do find the boss, we can at least go use the Satanic Bible after we found the boss and then go get the charge key. The worst comes to worst, I mean, the hairpin will also give us a, uh, also give us a full charge. This Alger's Rune is going to be pretty important. Gonna lie to you, Bizzle. You uh you really dropped the ball here on this run. I would like to see a running count of how many how many soul hearts D Bizzle's actually given us. I mean, we haven't really fed him a whole lot of hearts either, admittedly. But the hearts that he has gotten, especially from options, has uh not worked out. D Bizzle needs you to step it up, son. Ample opportunity right here, D-Bizzle. Thank God he dropped one. It's a D-Bizzle miracle. Okay. 40% chance for a devil deal. Fallen, which gives us a devil deal item anyway. Let's hope that it's damage. Any damage at all. Sci fly? Sci fly? You awake, buddy?
I'm honestly gonna pass on everything only because we have redemption is as silly as that sounds. Redemption at least gives us a little bit of damage. And yes, losing Bighorn is kind of... He was kind of bad, man, but like... We just... We're desperate for damage. One point four three damage feels like a freaking miracle right now. So obviously, again, we can use the Satanic Bible here without really any worry about losing a boss item because there's obviously no boss items on this floor. Ebizzle, okay, that's what I like to see, son. I, we need to see more of that. Right. Let's see, we need to see more of that and less of the other stuff. I gotta say, one of the biggest pickups that we have gotten on this run definitely was Lord of the Pit. Getting that movement speed early, but more importantly than that, getting the flying early was uh, extremely, extremely important. Now, if we do manage to get a lot of HP on this floor, we could turn this around with Sanguine Bond. Oh, we do not want an Eternal Heart here. But obviously we're out of we're out of danger we're out of harm's way for now, um, and we're looking to just simply improve this run at this point. Hermit card probably don't need the Algis rune anymore, but it's good to know that we had it if we if we did need it. Those those hands felt like they took forever to come down. Sure. Yeah. We lose our Pascal Candle buff. And uh, I think the Super Secret Room is probably here. Okay. We get our second Guppy item, which is going to allow us to get rid of our Red Heart container. So at the very, very least, we, we do have Polar Invincibility now. I feel a little bit better about that. Um, wouldn't it be some ironic ish if we ended up getting Guppy <laughs> on the run that we didn't start with two Guppy items? With that would be peak peak troll engine right there. But I'll take it. I'm not going to turn it down. That's for sure. This is where normally I would say the super secret room is, but uh, obviously we've already found it, so. Emperor car would be very, very welcomed here at this point. And this floor just keeps on going, doesn't it? Now, what does this floor look like? It looks like a very, uh, looks like a, it looks like kind of an elephant with a really long trunk. I can't figure out which angle it's trying to reach at. That's the first thing that came to mind. This is our last chance for a double deal here. And no double deal. But, but we are on the move. We are very slowly but surely pushing through. We have D Bizzle. We've got the Satanic Bible. 
This is what I was, this is what I'm talking about when I was, you know, referencing the, uh, uh, talking about stabilization. This run, we're, we're able to offset any incoming damage, which is due to lack of damage or just bad movement or, you know, just bad damage in general. You want to stabilize on runs like this so you can still play aggressive without being too reckless. Okay, you know what? And after all this, we still have 5.48 damage. Which is, uh, yeah. Like I said, we're, we're making, we're making it through. You can have this room. Okay. All right. There's the entire west side of the map, everybody. And the south side. Now let's go over here to the east side, shall we? Gotta say, think where we would be if we didn't have... We didn't have camel undies. I mean, camel undies, it is forcing us to try to get a little bit close to these enemies because obviously I'm trying to use the AoE. The little, like, the little, like, puff attack that we have. This lack of damage is it's still it's still scaring me. D Bizzle. D Bizzle finally waking up here, realizing the realizing that he doesn't get out of this run until we get out of this run. So, you know. Up to you, D Bizzle. I don't care if I take any hits there. I just want to get a full spread of damage there with uh, camel undies. Get the automatic full charge there coming in from the hairpin. Again, this is why we wanted to have Polaroid invincibility, so we can't get rung up for double hits. Great block there by Sci-Fly. Got a bomb off there on Isaac. Oh boy, man, this was a this is a marathon video here. Out one hour and eighteen minutes and seventeen seconds. We're still 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 rocking here. And this is this is really like honestly, this is this is one of the few reasons why like I kind of hesitate about doing double episodes right now, just in case if we get runs like this. After having a relatively short and interesting greed run, we get some like, you know, like the struggle bus run here on Wacky Wednesday. But I mean, that's the nature of the beast. We are slowly but surely making through here. We're finally gonna make it to the chest. Hopefully we get ourselves a good, can we get a damage upgrade? No, 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 and no. Well, Hamilacria kind of. I'm gonna take Hamilacria. I'm desperate for anything here. Um. Our tier height is going to be insane because of our shot speed. Definitely now is the time for us to find uh, find Incubus or Succubus. I mean, no Incubus. I, I want Incubus. But we're not. Just don't even worry about Pascal Candle at this point. Parasitoid is, of course, going to help us out greatly. We could play that uh, Demon Judgment with the Algis Room if we really, really need to. But this run was definitely a struggle bus through and through. It's a stark, stark comparison to the to the greed run that we had. Which even even that greed run was not like a slam dunk. It would have been a slam dunk had we not sacrificed demon baby. But hey, we learned something. We learned something new today. Rooms is getting more and more hectic here.
You're just getting another charge there thanks to the jumper cables. Okay. I thought I hit the chest there, but apparently we didn't. Fruity Plum gave us Beelzebub. So we are going to be able to get the dub here. A very grueling and scary second uh, second bonus run. Oh boy, that uh, that save with the Satanic Bible against the Grub on floor three, whenever that was, like an hour ago, feels like an hour ago anyway. That was definitely the scariest part of this run. But we are going to be able to make through it eventually. And uh, yeah, that was that was rough. But thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. Today's question of the episode today is going to be what did you think about buddy in a box and the combo of mom's box and greed mode can you think of a better combo when you have followers post them in the comment down below i mean buddy in a box plus mom's plus the uh, mom's box of friends combo it does work out very nicely but really only if you can get those second charges so like i said post them in the comments down below the top three most upvoted comments get right on next week's episode have a great start to your midweek here and thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you appreciate this super long episode, I would appreciate you by clicking the like button. It would help me out a lot and get the like streak going. As always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. I'm going to go lay down. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some Patreons members like Lamp, Taz Bryant, and G Ben Gaijin. If you have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta. That run broke my brain. <laughs>